Hey what's up guys YTB here and welcome back to my channel everyone hope you guys are absolutely doing good this video is completely about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and uh, you guys know that I'm just using this device for more than a month and uh, I just got some clear cut points of how the device does I mean the review this will be the top 9 things that Samsung Note 9 has surprised me with this device and without further delay let's dive into the video itself So guys, the major upgrade from the last year's Samsung is the stereo speakers. Last year's Samsung has a good sound quality but not great. And this time you can also adjust the different sound levels for different amps. So the first and foremost will be the addition of the stereo speakers that is not being present in the previous generation. So next will be about the display guys. Usually Samsung manufacturers are extraordinary at the displays but this time it's one step ahead with a 6.4 inches super AMOLED screen with infinity edge displays. 516 pixels uh, density and 83.4 percentage of screen to body ratio this gives a top notch display to the Note 9. Next is speaking about the battery life where I got impressed a lot. Battery is the place where Samsung Note 9 made a huge jump. From the 3300 milliamps of the last year model to 4000 milliamps this time. Since the issue of the Note 7, Samsung is very cautious on the battery now. The next up is the scene optimizer in the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. The scene optimizer is the major step ahead in the camera part. With the help of the artificial intelligence, the camera can now itself identify some of the parts like food, sky, plants and etc and make them a little bit contrasty look to make it super natural. This is encourageable by some and this is also discourageable by some photographers but to me it's really a huge takeover from the camera. The next up is the S Pen of the Note 9. Speaking about the Note series, if we didn't speak about the S Pen, it's nothing to go with the review guys. The S Pen is the major improvement this time. It is now Bluetooth enabled with a built-in of 45 milliamps of battery. It is useful for PowerPoint presentations, reading pages and the remote capture. For me personally, I'm just using this to sketch and for the remote capture guys. And the next will be obviously fingerprint placements. Since the huge complaints of customers having much inconvenience with the fingerprint placement in the last year model of the Note 8, Samsung has finally listened to its people and slightly reduced the fingerprint sensor placement. If this is still high for some people having short hands, you can get to go with the facial recognition and the iris scanner. You can combine together with the intelligence scan. Speaking about the price point, the price point is a place where I got shocked at first before using this device. But after using this, I got finally convinced with the price now. At a price segment of around 65,000 for the base model, it offers a tons of options for the users. Finally, the most important one, the omission of notch here. Samsung always being the trendsetters but not the trends followers. The live example is by including a no notch screen in the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. You get a flat rectangular screen with curved edges all around. Thank you Samsung for not including the useless notch here. Last but not least guys, this is the most beneficiary part I just seen personally in the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. This is the inclusive part of the headphone jack. Samsung did not omit the headphone jack in the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. You still get a 3.5mm jack here. So that's it guys, these are the top 9 things that Samsung Note 9 has personally surprised me while getting this mobile for the first time. So you guys might be surprised with some other things. So do let me know in the comment section below for what you have been surprised for Samsung's Note 9 when compared to the previous generation of Samsung. Thank you for watching this video guys. Hope you guys might have liked this video. In case you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Anyways guys, thank you for watching the video. Keep updated, stay tuned and keep subscribing to us.